Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about how to configure and load LLMs uh, using local folder and also using together API. So what this together API is I will talk about in detail. Uh, but we are continuing our series on building a rag based LLM app which includes a front end and how using that front end user can ask specific questions for the data that is being stored in the rag uh, vector db and so uh, now let's talk about how to configure uh, and load llms using a local folder and together api right so if i go to my utils folder so in this util folders i have few helper dot uh, py files so one of them is llm dot py right so if i just open it you can see like i have written a class so at first what I'm doing is I'm loading the .env file because my together API key is being stored in the .env file. That's why I need to load that. So once that is done, I'm creating a class. So this is kind of a modularized way to uh, create uh, and load the LLMs using uh, a class concept which is available in Python. So at first I'm creating a, uh, a dunder init method where I am loading the local LLM path using the environment variable. Then I'm creating a function which will give, me, uh, which will return a C transformer LLM. So this C transformer is nothing but a way to load GGUF quantized models which are optimized for CPU inference, right? So that's why uh, this type of, uh, this function is kind of returning a value which is a type of C transformer. So this is kind of a type hinting which we are uh, implementing using this function just to make sure that it returns the correct object. And once that is done, uh, I am like initializing the C transformer using the uh, local model path. And then few of the model configs, which are like max new tokens, the temperature and the context length, right? So by default, the context length is a bit lower side. So you need to specifically mention the size of this context length. So whenever you are working with like RAG system, the context that is being generated that may exceed uh, certain token limits right so that that's why we are kind of mentioning this 4096 uh, which is uh, supported by the mistral model so the model which i am loading here the local model so that is being present here uh, in this model folder folder that you can see that model is mistral 7b instruct uh, some uh, version related to quantization and the the type of this model is a GGUF version which is optimized for CPU inference right so once uh, that function is being uh, created uh, then I'm returning that LLM similarly I'm creating this get LLM together so it's using this uh, together API now let's talk about what this together API is right so if you go to this URL which is together.ai you will see that it has uh, actually this is a kind of uh, uh, platform which kind of host certain open source models and they also kind of provide it at a cheaper cost so it's kind of the inference time would be much more faster uh, using this because the models are uh, hosted in their environment which are like uh, cloud environments which are, which has like optimal configuration with gpu and uh, other optimization techniques so you there they have certain uh, features like the inference the fine tuning uh, the gpu clusters also you can borrow from them and also the together uh, custom models right so if i uh, go to this inference page you will see there are certain models which are available like uh, the model which i am using for this uh, demo purpose is this uh, mistral 7b instruct right so which is kind of very faster inference you will see if you use their uh, API key and use it in your code and you can see the pricing is also uh, very low so it's like uh, 0 0.20 dollars they are uh, costing for uh, they are uh, charging for uh, per 1 million tokens right so this is very cheap if you compare with uh, OpenAI and other services and also like the open source models are uh, very easy to use and which will give you like better performance if you are using a rag right so you can also see like uh, Mistral 8 cross 7b, which is like Mistral model that is also being uh, present here. And that has a bit higher cost like 0 0.60 dollars uh, per thousand uh, per 1 million tokens, right? Now uh, you can create an account and get the API key and uh, you can use that. And that will be much more, uh, that will give you much more faster inference time, 
so currently they are kind of giving uh, 25 dollars free uh, which you can use uh, and after that you have to uh, like uh, give your credit card to enable like further inference using their tokens right so in case you don't want to use uh, together uh, api so you can use this uh, the get llm function which returns a c transformer model but that there the inference time would be much more slower like for a single question i have tested like the answer comes in like five minutes or so but within seconds you can if you use the together uh, llm api and that will be much more faster inference right so that's why we are kind of using for our purpose the together api so you need to install that llm uh, blank chain together uh, package and there from there you need to import the together and there you have to pass the model name and also the api key so you can see i am not exposing my api key here i am loading it from the dot env file and then i am using it like uh, get the llm so once that is done what we can do is we can like in a separate code or on a separate notebook we can create an instance of this class and call either of these two methods let's see how to do that right so my uh, code is present in the utils folder so what i will do is at first i need to import that from utils.llm import llm so once that is done you need to create an object out of it so this is i am instantiating that class and once that is done so using this object you can uh, call the different functions right which is like get llm which will give you the local llm uh, local mistral model which is present inside this model folder and that will be uh, extracted here right so let me call it as local mistral and if i call it so you can see like within uh, 0.14 seconds the model gets loaded but the inference would be much more slower that's why we wanted to use the together llm uh, so together API is Mistral version. So I will call it as T underscore Mistral. So let's try to get that model LLMs dot get LLM together. So once that is done, you will have this model. So if I just print it, you can see this is a together model where we have the secrets and also the model version, right? So this is all I wanted to cover in this video, how you can use, uh, leverage a local model and also you can leverage the together API key to make faster inferences, right? So I hope you got an initial understanding how to uh, load a model from local and how to uh, modularize your code to load uh, certain LLMs using either API call or uh, from a local folder. So yeah, that's, I, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you. See you in the next video.